Mm. You are telling us the man behind the brand. Yes. Mm. So I just start all over again? Of course. <laughs> let, let's, let's get the gist. So I'm um, looking at the man behind the brand mm. in the periphery. Mm. Mm. That is just one aspect of my companies, but that's the main thing that mm. makes me who I am. Okay. So then, um, so let's backtrack it in the eastern region where mm. I was born. Mm. My dad is from Kowa mm. and my mom is in Ashanti. Mm. So yeah, I was born in Kofta. Okay. Kofta, yeah. So I was in Madonna school. Mm. Fast forward, Motown. Mm. Then as an Akora, I'm, I'm three times in a row. Best, best, most, most fashionable. fashionable. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> then yeah, with that. Um, I realized that most people were like checking on my fit and mm. they wanted what I was wearing. Mm. So I was like, fine, if you want, I, I'm wearing, then I can sell to you. So mm. I became a fashion retailer okay. for a period of time. Then mm. it's like, can you combine the fits for me? Mm. Then he said, combine the fits for me, that made me a stylist. Okay. You know, mm. it was not, it was not a, like a schooled situation for me mm. to find myself as a stylist, but I, I grew into that. Mm. Then I started styling uh, mainstream artists. Mm. Then I was like, if now that I could style you, that means I can now design for you to have mm. it. So then I was looking at what is holding us mm. in our everyday life mm. as Ghanaians, as Africans, as people. And that was fear, because a lot of people live in fear. Mm. So then I was like, okay, fine, that's the case. I need to give people purpose, okay. a reason for them to go beyond their um, limits mm. and become whatever they want to be mm. without being held back by fear. Mm. And that is the creation of the brand Fear No Man, okay. but God only. Mm. That you look up to God Almighty only and don't look at the next man to be the best man. Okay, yeah. wow. That's 